Hello everyone, my name is Susan from the Children's Department of the Surrey Libraries. Today we're going to learn a simple project to do with science. You can find all of these ingredients in your kitchen. Give it a try at home. Today we're going to make our very own froggy marshmallow launcher. All you need to make a marshmallow launcher catapult is four large marshmallows, seven skewers, a thin rubber band, a plastic spoon, masking tape, and lastly, a gummy or rubber froggy. Construction is simple enough that even a five-year-old can make his very own. The older kids will spend more time making mods to their catapult, reinforcing the joints with masking tape, etc. Here's the process. The first step is forming a triangle by using three marshmallows and three skewers. Insert each of the skewers into each of the marshmallows. Remember, don't eat them just yet. Make sure you are careful as the skewers are quite sharp. They will form the base of your catapult. After you've done that, we are going to form the body of your catapult. The next step, of course, is to take three of the skewers, three more, and one more marshmallow to create a pyramid shape on the top of that triangle. So we're doing that right now, and at the very end, we will add a marshmallow, and that forms your pyramid. Then, we will take the last skewer and tape a plastic spoon securely onto the end of another skewer, of that skewer. Once we've done that, then we are going to take an elastic band and put it over the top of a marshmallow. Here's the elastic band over the marshmallow. And then we're going to take the skewer with the spoon and stick it into one of the marshmallows. Finally, we're going to take a gummy frog and launch it into the air. You can also use rubber frogs as well. Kids can play with their marshmallow launchers immediately after construction, but they'll need to be fairly gentle so they don't tear the marshmallows. Being gentle can be difficult for kids, so I recommend you construct the catapults one day and then let them sit overnight so the marshmallows will stiffen up and become much stronger, allowing for rougher play and stronger landing. Note, you can also leave the marshmallows out of their bag for a day to let them stiffen up for the day before you use them to build the marshmallow catapult. What's the science? When an object is moving, it has kinetic energy. The catapult you make is going to transfer energy from the spring to the gummy frog or marshmallow. The gummy frog will then have potential injury until the catapult releases, and then the gummy frog will also have kinetic in injury, energy as it flies through the air. This is a simple way to demonstrate Newton's law, force equals mass times acceleration. Thank you for joining me. Hi again, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this science video. If you'd like to see more of these science videos, please join us on Wednesdays and Saturdays. We'll see you again. Bye.